This is G.I. Joe Retaliation, Conrad, Duke, Hauser, or the ultimate Duke figure. The figure is part of Wave 3.5 or Wave 4 of the G.I. Joe Retaliation 3.75 inch figures. I'm not sure, depending on where you order it. So here's a quick look at the packaging. Aerial, it comes with an aerial attack drone and lots of weapons. Uh, probably an understatement. Anyway, uh, so here he is. Very awesome. This is the more movie accurate Duke. I don't have the first version, the one in green. Um, just didn't like that figure. But it's very, very cool. Uh, he comes with a base. Uh, we'll talk about the accessories that he comes with later, uh, just to give you a bit of a size comparison or just a sculpt comparison here is the city strike rise of cobra or pursuit of cobra conrad duke hauser uh, as you can see this one looks a young, like a younger channing tatum step up days channing tatum this one looks more like a magic mike channing tatum <laughs> i don't know he, he's got a he's got a bit of a tan here he's pasty here so i don't know we'll put this off to the side for now so very, very cool. Let me get him off his um, dog tag base. That's pretty cool. Well detailed. Let's start with the sculpt of the figure. Um, very cool. As I said, very nice head sculpt. He comes with a removable vest, which is, I believe, looks better with a vest on. Peg hole for a backpack. Um, overall, great uh, sculpt on the fatigues. He's got a ball joint articulation. Ah, sorry, ball joint neck, what am I saying? Talking about articulation, he's got a ball joint neck, ball joint upper torso, ball hinge shoulders, elbows, and wrists. The wrists have the clone trooper articulation. This one goes up and down. This one goes in and out. Ball jointed hips, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with the very nice rocker joints. Pain apps on the, very nice articulation. Pain apps on the figures, phenomenal. If you're looking for these guys on the pegs, if you see several on the pegs, which I doubt because you know, um, collectors are just army building this thing like crazy, which I'll talk about in a while. Um, paint apps are just amazing. There's very little I can complain about. If if you have to choose among several on the pegs, make sure the eyes aren't cross-eyed or there's not a lot of scratching on the face or on the visor of the helmet, which I'll show you later. So very, very cool. Overall sculpt, fantastic. Lots of places to store the weapons, like there. So very, very nice. Also, what I liked about going back to articulation, I like the fact that they've, the cuff of the of the pants, they've molded onto the boot so that there's very little hindrance in ankle articulation. So very, very nice. One of the best Joe figures Hasbro has come up with. So comes with a base. Very nice. This is how G.I. Joe's should be. Lots of weapons with a base. None of that gimmick, gimmicky Another gimmicky type of uh, uh, large rocket launching weapon. Anyway, what he's holding is this is the rifle he came packaged with. He was holding it or strapped onto him. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it is a modified M4A1. I could be wrong, but it really looks like an M1, an M4, sorry, uh, with a grenade launcher for some weird reason. So here are the accessories he comes with. Uh, this is the drone. It's the exact same drone as the, um, God, what was that? Cyber Vipers. Uh, yeah, Cyber Vipers, the, uh, Cyber Ninjas or whatever. Cyber Vipers? I think Cyber Vipers. Um, let's see. No, it's not here. Uh, but yeah, um, the, the ones with the big, huge backpack you know what i'm saying and the drone comes with fold out wings and fold out guns the guns can actually be removed um i'm not going to show you now because just look at my review of that other figure you know what i'm talking about with this one it's not the main thing the really the highlight is the ton of weapons he has let's start with the headgear that he has he's got a uh this is i think if i'm not mistaken is supposed to be um an assault helmet but it 
looks like the way it's been rolled, it looks like a bike patrol helmet right now. Um, more than an assault helmet. So I think that was the look they were going for. This should have been straps, but it looks like molded on. So kind of looks like a bike patrol helmet. <laughs> he looks funny in it. He also comes with an interchangeable head. This is this is not a helmet. This is actually a head. A head you pop off his original head and you pop this one on. Comes with a um, yeah. It, it's uh, it looks to me like an ops core face base fast base jump military helmet. It looks like it. I'm not sure with uh, the goggles and the mask. Yeah, I think it's a fast base jump helmet. I'm I'm not sure, but it kind of looks like that. But when you put it on. He doesn't look like Duke anymore. He looks like just a regular uh, lighting. Sorry. He looks like just a, uh, a regular Joe. And that this is the main reason why collectors are going gaga army building this one. And that's why it's very difficult to find a Duke uh, nowadays on the shelf, on the pegs. Because collectors are troop building this guy. And, you know, it looks really nice as a regular grunt, regular Joe. So... Put it back there. Put this one back here, and we'll take the head back on. There's a look. He's he's tanned in the face, but on his neck, apparently he did not tan his neck. <laughs> okay. Now here's the weapons. I can only surmise as to what these weapons are. Well, this one is easily an AK-47. This is a, a Kalashnikov, I think. Yeah, looks like it. This one, I'm not sure if it's an SIG Sour pistol. A 226, 229, or 216, I don't know. It looks like a sour, a SIG, uh, SIG sour. This one, again, um, looks like an M1, but I think it could be a HK416, Heckler and Cock. Yeah, it could be a Heckler and Cock 416. Might be, because of the barrel, because of the, this front part right here. Maybe, I'm not sure, who knows. Uh, this one looks like a Ruger Archangel, AR-15, kinda-ish, Ruger Archangel. Um, what else? This one, sort of like a cross between an LMG and a bullpup. Could be wrong, I don't know. This one, this one I think is a USAS-12 shotgun with drum magazine. Looks like it, uh, slightly modified with the magazine and the grenade launcher, but lo really looks like a USAS-12. Uh, this one, I don't know if they based it off a real gun or it, it, is, an, it is an actual gun. It just looks like a, an assault, a basic assault pistol with uh, the extended magazine, uh, extended, exit, extended barrel sniper, um, silencer or something. I think it looks like a silencer, I don't know. With the scope and the stock so i don't know this one i'm not sure about that this one looks just like a shotgun or a grenade launcher grenade launcher shotgun you got two combat knives and an rpg7 uh launcher i think so those are his accessories so overall it's a very interesting figure definitely a must-have if you want a more movie accurate duke Compared to the first one we got, this is definitely the one you want to pick up. Um, good luck uh, fending off scalpers and, and beating the scalpers. I hope you guys do it. You can get it online. Um, I'm sure Dark Side Toys will have a lot of these. You can get it loose. I mean, you don't have to get all the weapons. As a figure itself, it's great. I give it a 10 out of 10. Absolutely one of the most wonderful things. Especially because the, figure di the character died. You're going to want this. <laughs> Uh, because they're not going to make any more. Maybe they will, I don't know. Uh, the pistol will fit here. Uh, this combat knife is going to fit there. This one has a peg. The drone has a peg which you can peg on his back, which is just not practical. Other than that, he can't hold all the weapons. He can only hold like two or three at a time. Two at a time. So, there you go, folks. Very, very nice. Absolutely phenomenal figure. Just a wonderful, uh, wonderful figure. Uh, from the retaliation line definitely a must have if you like this video please click thumbs up icon at the bottom follow me on twitter for my toy purchases instagram for my toy sightings here in manila uh, check out all my videos and reviews here on this channel chefatron my old fx france channel is still up uh, but it'll just have vlogs gi joe retaliation the ultimate uh, conrad duke hauser figure thanks for watching